Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava and welcome to a book haul. I haven't done a book haul in a while. I think I've only done one this year, maybe not even that. I have no idea. No clue. Um, I've definitely been going down on my book spending. I'm actually very proud about that. Big pat on the back for Avery. So um, a few of these were sent my way. A few of them I bought myself. Let's just dive right on in. I do have a few stacks of historicals and I'll leave those to the end in case like y'all don't care about historicals because I know that some people just don't. So um, first, let's just go from the top. So um, at the end of last year, I heard that Zoe Draven's Horde Kings of Dakar series were getting new covers and the OG ones were going out of print. And I was like, oh no, I need the original one. So I got the rest of the series. I already owned three of them. So I got the other three that I did not own. Like the new covers I think are really pretty, but I also like, I already collected three in the old version. So I'm like, I need all of them to look the same. So um, I got book number three, which is Madness of the Horde King. These are um, alien romance books, by the way. The heroine in this one has like magical witch powers, which love that. Um, and then uh, Taken by the Horde King is book number five. And it's like captor, captive and then it switches to the other one being the captor and the other one being the captive and then last one is throne of the horde king which last book in the series and it kind of wraps up the overarching like plot line that's been going along in this whole series and then you have like a romance with our alien hero and um like a alien human hybrid woman and it's like faded mates for sure in that one so i love these original covers um, and I would honestly collect the other ones too. She just came out with like exclusive editions that are absolutely stunning with like beautiful sprayed edges. My wallet would kill me if I got them. So I'm trying to have self-control even though I want them so bad. Next, I went to a bookstore um, a few towns over from me. Whoa, the dogs are barking. <laughs> anyway, um, I got three books from there. It's called The Book Nook. I love this bookstore a lot. I love the employees there. I just love the whole vibes, everything. So I got three books that I wanted. So first is Barbarian's Touch, um, the new Berkeley version, um, which is book number, I believe, seven in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I think I'm missing a few in between here because I don't think I have Tiffany's book in the one after that. So I don't know, but I saw it there and I was like, oh my gosh, I need Layla and Rokan. Like I need them. Okay. It's one of my favorite books in the series for a reason. So I needed this. And then I also found The Prospects by um, KT Hoffman. This is a, I think, MM baseball romance, but they're on the same baseball team, which sounds so sticky cute. I know this is a new release and I think Tiffany read it recently and really liked it. So I cannot wait to read this one. It's the only one that I've I think I bought that I have not read yet, so. And then I also picked up Everything For You by Chloe Liza. I saw this Chloe Liza in a bookstore and just needed it. So if I don't have a few of the new versions, but this is definitely top three in the series is this one. I needed it. I need, I, I know, I, I need self-control. I need self-control, but I did well. Like this is the first time I've like literally gone into a bookstore and just like, ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that in, a, in months, probably since last year. So, I mean, that's, that's a good, that's good. For Next I got, I think it's the only special edition that I've bought recently. Oh no, there's a there's a, a few over there. Never mind. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I got Whispers of the Deep by Emma Ham, her exclusive special edition one. Um. This book came out at the beginning of the year. It's a monster siren, um, like mermaid romance. That's fantasy. It's so good. Um. The hero kidnaps the heroine, who's a human. Um. And he's like a mermaid creature, mermaid creature. And um, it came with this iridescent dust jacket with these sprayed edges like look at how stunning that is and this is also sprayed like all of the edges are sprayed and then when you take the dust jacket off it looks like I'll show the dust jacket in a minute because the dust jacket is special itself um but it looks like this look at how freaking stunning that is I love this book so much. I can't even wait for number two. I feel like I'm gonna love number two even more than this one. I already love this one. Um, so this one is stunning. The back. Um, and then this is the dust jacket. It is an art print of our characters. And you can like flip it around if you want to, to where this be the outside of the dust jacket. But look at them. Like, but look at them. 
so pretty. I love it. And then I have even more to show off with this because it came with some other exclusive stuff. Well, I do have to show off first. It's signed, baby. Emma Ham signed this bad boy. I love her so much. I love her so much. And I don't know if this is in like the regular edition, but like these are the chapter, chapter pages. Like, look at that. Look at the size difference. Like, I love the size difference in here. So, like, that's the start of every chapter is that um, art, which is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, but then the other things that came are in this little sleeve. I have this bookmark here with our hero. Look at him in all his glory. Stunning. I'm covering up bits you should not be seeing. But there's this one. Like that one's really pretty too, <laughs> but it came with some um, nice paperwork print. Um, and then there's also this one, which was like the dust jacket. So cool. And then lastly, there is this other like beautiful one. I love this so much. But that was Whispers of the Deep. I love this book. I love Emma Ham. I will be getting probably the special edition of number two if she decides to do that too because this is absolutely beautiful. My friend Kate got me Sirens Call by Jessica Kate. She said she saw this on TikTok and thought I might like it. It has something to do with sirens which is really cool and it came with these bookmarks which is really cool. Bookmark here and then um, I think this is our hero maybe. No idea but there's a bunch of books here. So I was like, cool, I'll take it. That's beautiful. I hope I like it. I love like Siren Mermaids books, if you could not tell. Oh, and it's signed, love that. It says, beware the call of the siren. But yeah, I've never seen this on TikTok or anywhere. So maybe I will like it. Thank you so much, Kate. I was sent Make Me Burn by Tiffany Roberts from Lisa Ray. Thank you so much, Lisa Ray, for sending this my way. I love Tiffany Roberts books. And this is the first book that I read from them. It's like a demon. Another mermaid, mermaid romance. <laughs> I was not, I was not trying to talk about three mermaid books in a row, um, but I love mermaid romances. So thank you so much. Your note was so sweet. You did not have to send me a book. So thank you so much for being so kind. And I am so thrilled to have this on my collection with like all my other Tiffany Roberts books. Elizabeth Stevens and her team reached out to me to send me an early copy of Shadowlands Omega, which is her second book in the Beats, Beasts of Gatamora series. I just recently read book one. I unfortunately was not able to read this before it released. So it is already released. This is book number two. And it kind of is like this post-apocalyptic fantasy series with like Fate of Mates, Werewolf Shifters, um, like other magicalness. This is book number two. And then I didn't know when I got this, but it also came with like art prints and like overlays which are not safe to show at all <laughs> not safe to show at all like heck no i'm not showing that so um yeah <laughs> but that was a nice surprise i opened the book and oh that's i did not know that was gonna be in there so <laughs> but this book is a chunky monkey and i can't wait to read it though like i really did like book number one i recently read it like earlier this month so um but it's signed by elizabeth stevens i am gonna be meeting elizabeth stevens next year so i'm like so excited um but yeah thank you all so much to elizabeth stevens and your team for sending this book my way i can't wait to get to it tiffany was so sweet earlier this year she sent me surviving scar by ruby dixon i actually have not read this book yet <laughs> I know, I know. It's like the only Ruby book I haven't read yet. Um, it's her newest release besides her clone one that dropped like a few days ago. Um, but it's the latest book in the um, Ice Planet clone series, which is a spinoff to Ice Planet Barbarians. Um, but she was so sweet. I was having a horrible, horrible week of migraines due to some, due to some medication mix up in February. And she sent this to me because of it and i love you so much thank you so much tiffany i love you this next one is such a treasure uh keisha i love you girl um she has a youtube i'll link it down below and she has an instagram um but she binds fan fiction and um she sent me this one that she bound herself this is a court of mist and fury reed sands pov um it is an ao3 fan fiction i think i talked about this book like Oh, in a few other videos and people were like, oh my gosh, what fan fiction is that? It's by this person, Illyrian Tremors, Illyrian Tremors. But she bound this book for me. And apparently it's Akamath all in Reese's point of view as like a fan fiction. And I am so excited. So thank you so much, Keisha. I love you. This was like such a cool surprise. She's like, I'd love to send you one. 
<laughs> um, I actually like already have this downloaded. I had this downloaded and was like a few chapters in when she texted me. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. that would be amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It is just so pretty. I can't wait to add it to my Akatar Sarah to Mass shelf. Like I'm so excited. January Bell sent me up Sword and Silver, which is her first fantasy romance book. I'm so excited for her. She normally writes alien romances and I read a few of her alien romances and actually really enjoyed them so I'm so excited that she decided to dive into fantasy romance and I think this is like an enemies to lovers I'm really excited for it. it's so shiny and pretty and then it also came with some goodies that I thought I'd show off because why the heck not here's this sticker that says enemies to lovers sorry for the the glare for my ring light but I love that. There's this sticker that just says January Bell. There's also these tabs and a highlighter. I love, I always love and appreciate these tabs when authors include these. I love that. This is our couple. I've seen their artwork on her Instagram before. They're absolutely stunning. He reminds me of like the Witcher for sure. What he looks like. Like this iridescent font on the cover. Beautiful, stunning. I think there's a cover version of like them on the cover which i would also love to have like love to get that um if i end up loving this book and then this is a map of the fantasy world and then lastly they have this art print oh here's the couple on the back hey yo so this is i guess what the cover looks like as well so anyway there's also this quote on the front that says every god has two faces pray you get the one you want and not the one you need. I can't wait to get into that one. I think I read a few chapters of it when I first got it, but then something happened and I had to put it down, but I am really excited to still read it. Another book that an author sent my way is Malevolent by Lainey De La Roque. I think I'm butchering that, I'm so sorry. I think this one is like enemies to lovers. I think in like a small town though. I don't know, it looks really fun. The author reached out to me. I really like the summary. This one also came with a few goodies, so I thought I'd show those off. It has this cute, envelope that with like a wax seal there's a bunch of stickers in here so this one says busy getting tied up in book words <laughs> cute i think this is a character print from one of our characters there's this cute sticker of a book and flowers oh i think this is gonna be like a um autograph like page i can put in my book like an autograph sticker here's some more information about our author so she writes um oh yeah th i think this one has disability or chronic illness representation if i remember correctly it says that she writes dark diverse and dangerous <laughs> and here is a bookmark of the book has the title on it and lastly is an art print of i think our heroine of this story love the pink hair so i'm excited to check this one out i found this book at a half price books i'm going to talk about a few books i got from half price towards the end because they're historicals but this is like the only contemporary one that i picked up this is show me the way by tc mattson the heroine of the story her husband left her and her young son and she now moves into this new place and it's her romance with the landlord of that place and he's going through his own like inner demons um but he can't help but fall for this single mom johanna from my cozy book space sent me two books she had two special editions of not my type by evie mitchell and just sent them to me she's so sweet so this is um this version not my type this is, both of these are special editions these are not what the book normally looks like um but this is a romance with our heroine who was a wheelchair user and our hero who teaches her the art of like shibari or rope stuff okay so this is an exclusive edition it's like orange and pretty and then she also sent me this pink one so cute i love it it's like iridescent on the side too i want to say thank you so much johanna for sending these my way i love johanna and her booktube channel please go check her out i'll link her below every single one of my friends that i talk about I'm linking them below. Please go check out their channels. They're beautiful, amazing people. I have a few special editions to talk about. Um, <laughs> so I decided, I was like, there's a special edition of a book that I love that I have not bought yet. And I feel like it's due time. So I got the special edition from Era Books of Ice Planet Barbarians with the sprayed edges. There's the bookmark in here. Like, oh, it's so pretty. This is hardback, okay? Um, there's raised lettering here. And it's so pretty. Look at the back with our Sakui guy on the back. I love it. And then this flying saucer. <laughs> okay. Um. So here are the sprayed edges. There's another flying saucer. Okay. There are these pages when you open it up. I'm just showing off this book, y'all. Like it's so pretty. And then there's this page with Ruby's signature. And it says that I 
M number 1877. It also came with three stickers. I have one for Era Books, which are the people that made this special edition. This one says, I'd rather be on Not Hoth with Vectal. Mm hmm. That's true. And then this one of Georgie and Bechtel, which I am absolutely obsessed with. Can't say I have the special edition for this for my shelf. I, I love this. I love this so much. I got the booktuber box from Dark and Quirky, which is a booktube box with five booktubers who like collaborated to put their favorite books in this book box. So McKay's book was Always Been You by QB Tyler. And I don't think I've read any of these books, by the way. I haven't read any of these books. It has these sprayed edges. It's black with like, I think little stars on the sides. These are the end pages with QB Tyler's signature. The box came with like a bunch of art prints in like a set all together. And so I don't know if this is this art print because it didn't like say it was, but I think it is. I think this is from this book. So. And then it also came with a page overlay of that print as well. Tori chose Real by Kenny Ryan. I love the way this book looks. It's so pretty. Um, it's purple with the iridescent like real. Love that. And then the back. I know I still haven't read this book yet. Everyone tells me to. Um, and there's these sprayed edges. So pretty. And then these are the, whoa, end pages. Love it. And then this is our um, like page overlay thing. Um, it's signed by Kennedy Ryan and I think our heroine and our hero are on the cover. And you stick this in the book and it's kind of like see-through. I'll show you. Kind of see-through, you can kind of see the letters. I don't recommend reading with this in, but you can like just slip it out, which is cool. But I don't know where this goes because I know a lot of people put like art prints like these um, at the scene where like the print is representing. So like maybe that scene is in the book. Um, so I need to find out where that scene is so I can like put it with that page. Jess chose to do Devil Love Dublin by B.B. Easton. This one's really pretty as well. And then here are the sprayed edges. Another author I have not read from yet. Um, this, these end pages remind me of Twilight. <laughs> um, this one's signed by B.B. Easton. And then this one comes with an art print and a page overlay. So this is the art print. And the overlay is of the same art. Cheyenne picked Hall by Jesse Hall, another author I've not read from yet. Uh, but yeah, that's this one with the bright. These are all like raised letters. Um, and then the edges, what are they? Uh, sprayed edges, sorry, <laughs> sprayed edges. Love that. Um, and then, oh, right at the beginning, we have an art print <laughs> with, um, I think our characters, I assume so. Um, with it signed and then these are the end pages with them on the motorcycle which this is a beautiful shot beautiful shot and then I have another art print of them so they're hot that couple looks hot okay and last I have between hello and goodbye by Emma Scott this one was Sam's pick Sam helped design this um, with these end pages I think it's the ocean yeah the ocean I think this one takes place in Hawaii if I'm not mistaken Beautiful picture as well, beautiful shot. Um, This one is an art print with the signature. That's like an overlay one. And I don't think that one came with an art print. Oh, there's another overlay, I forgot. Another overlay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> that one's beautiful, I love whoever did that art. Stunning, beautiful. Those books are really pretty. I haven't read any of them yet, but I wanted to support some fellow booktubers. And the last chunk of this video are all historicals that I have hauled recently. So let me dive right on in. I think I got a few of these at half price books um, when I was visiting in Austin. I was going to Austin at some point. A few, I think over spring break I went to Austin and I stopped into half price books. So I got a few books there. Um, and then another one is I took, I went to a wedding in March and um, the small town that it was in had an antique store and I got a bunch of historicals for like a dollar. So first creme de la creme, I found the step back version of Again the Magic by Lisa Kleypas. I already had a copy of Again the Magic, but it was like the newer cover. And I was like, no, I've been dying for this step back version. And so I'm unhauling that other one, of course, because <laughs> I've got this one. Like it's so pretty. I love this. I collect Karen Hawkins books. So I found a few at half price books. I found four. So first is Her Master and Commander. This one looks like a piratey romance with this pretty, 
step back. How to Treat a Lady is another one. This one doesn't have a step back, but it has a beautiful clench back cover. Look at her hair all fanned out. Oh, I love it. Karen Hawkins has some like amazing covers, step backs. I love her. And also Confessions of a Scoundrel is another one with another, boom, beautiful, stunning back cover. And I think this is my last Karen Hawkins. This is her officer and gentleman with this step back like hoo wee next is wild blossom by cynthia wright this one who 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 what i want to know is who is this man who is this man like <laughs> watching these two get at it what are you doing sir what are you doing <laughs> pirate's prize by vanita helton is next like look at how beautiful they are they are stunning um these Letters are raised, which I love. There's no step back here, but I think the cover makes up for that. I'm completely okay with that because, yeah, and it's about pirates, I think. I'm a sucker for pirate score. This step back whew, is stunning. This is Much Ado About You by Eloisa James. Look, I could not, I could not not buy this book. I found a Samantha James, which is a promise given. I have the first book in the series and both of them have this cutout in their step backs so hello <laughs> so that's what this one looks like this one's kind of like a faux step back kind of but like i mean the cup roll is in there a little bit when love awaits is my next one by johanna Lindsay, an old johanna Lindsay book with like yellowed pages raised lettering iconic absolutely iconic found two beautiful suzanne enoch books this is england's perfect hero and this one is London's Perfect Scoundrel. I think these are a part of the same series. And get ready, because the fronts are pretty, right? Bam. Look at these clinch covers. Like, I wish I could print these out and put them on my walls. They are stunning. One of the most like, beautiful clinch covers I've ever seen, honestly. Beautiful. And again, this one's the red one. This one. So flippin' pretty. I love how I also haven't been reading any of the summaries for these. Um, all of them were step back or cover buys, of course. <laughs> Velvet by Jane Feathers. Next, I talked to one of my subscribers um, who said that she loves this book in this series. And then the step back is just everything. So that was definitely one I had to get. The Tea Planter's Bride by Rosemary Rogers is next. I do own a few from this author. I've never read any of her books, but um, she's got a pretty step back, okay? Absolutely stunning with like the pink purple flowers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Another Johanna Lindsay for you. This is The Magic of You. And I think this is another pirate one because it looks like a pirate's wheel back there and a Fabio cover. Another iconic. Her, her covers are iconic. Ended up finding The Highlander's Forbidden Bride by Donna Fletcher. Um, I love this series. I think I'm only missing one book in this series now um, that I physically own, but I've read all the books in the series. These are great Highlander romances if you want to get into more Highlander romances, I definitely recommend the series. This is the last book in the series, so. And it's like Enemy's Daughter that he falls in love with. Stephanie Lawrence is another author who has like fantastic step back. So this is A Gentleman's Honor. This one like gives me Cinderella vibes. I don't know why, but it just, it does. Like Cinderella vibes. And lastly, I have this stack for you. These were the ones that I got at that wedding that I went to. I didn't get them at the wedding. I went to an antique store by the wedding venue. <laughs> this is Night of Fire by Shannon Drake. First of all, this front is already amazing. And then when you open it up, <laughs> clinch, clinch, clinch cover. Mm -hmm. This is Shadow Play by Catherine. I think it's pronounced Sutcliffe. There's the couple right here, but then, whoa. I love this so much. <laughs> Another one that gives me Cinderella vibes. Like look at her stunning dress. I'm so sad they don't make books like this anymore. Like I'm so, devastated so when I find a pretty one I have to get it so um Midnight Bandit by Marlene Susan Susan is uh next this one doesn't have a step back but look at this cover I had to get it she looks like a bandit yeah another Stephanie Lawrence all about passion it says the Earl of Chillingworth thought he knew what he wanted in a wife but he was wrong Southern Seduction by Thea Devine is next. It has one of these imprints. I collect a few of these um, with this sticker on the top. That just means it's from a certain collection, I think. Um, but this one's really pretty. And a few of these books are Southern ones too. And the last one that I have is one by Elaine Kaufman. I actually got one from Elaine Kaufman in my last historical haul. Um, this is If My Love Could Hold You. And it has these 
like texture, this textured edge. And when you open it up, it's that. I think I ended with a bang, y'all, because it's my last book. Like, look at that. Hoo wee. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, say so how much that is a book haul for y'all. <laughs> Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. I would love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me. Um, what emoji should we do? Let's do any red emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.